All right, let's get into routing. Um, specifically, I want to talk about how we can organize our routes to be in maybe a little bit better than just sitting here in the main file. And then also we can go over uh, how we can run the different HTTP methods because there's a lot more than GET and any API needs to handle, well, a, a lot of them. So um, first off, how do we organize this? Well, I really don't like putting a lot of logic into main if it can be helped. I like using a main library and then a folder structure for everything else. So I'm gonna start off by creating a new library here. And I'm actually going to put the Axum server bind inside of there. And so we're gonna basically be running a, a run command from the library. So let's have a, now this has to be async because there is an await inside of this. So we need an async. Um, all right, so already we're getting these errors, but this happens when we're in the middle of writing this. So async function, uh, I'm usually just call this run or it could be app maybe. I don't necessarily need to return anything. I'm gonna put this entire block inside. Now, this is yelling at us because we need this app here, okay? So to come back, grab the app next. Uh, we'll need to resolve all of these by importing the router. Uh, we need to import this specific get. So let's do that now. This is not going to be the final place for the handlers, though. I'm going to make. I'm going to put this somewhere else as well. Uh, now the only thing it's yelling about us is the fact that we're not we're not running run. That's what we're going to do over here in main. So I'm going to put run here. It sometimes can find it for me. Uh, sometimes it can't. So uh, to reach into uh, the library, oh, you know what? I, I need to make this public. Let's try this again. Now that you're public, if I type run, uh, you cannot find this. Let's go into cargo.toml. This, the name of this lesson is routing. So if I come into here, I should be able to use routing run. Wait, this is a library. I don't need to be in the library. I need to be in main. Use routing run. And that allows me to now use run here. And then I want to await. I don't need any unwrap or anything because I'm not returning a result from this, uh, this run function. Okay, back to you. Uh, failed to resolve, I need to pull in uh, the router. I think I pulled them in, but then accidentally deleted them. Uh, so we need to pull those in again. You're happy, you're happy here. Uh, and I am running the backend still. I have the cargo watch automatically on. Let's go ahead and double check this. Okay, we're still good. Okay, so now I want to continue refactoring this because having the router here is okay, but I kind of like having the router be a little bit separate. And then I definitely like having the handlers uh, have a place of their own, or at least like to be able to logically group them together with whatever I'm doing. Uh, so basically handlers based upon like if I'm manipulating users or uh, tasks or something else. If it tasks, if it's a um, uh, to do application, for example. So I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call this uh, router routing, probably routes. And inside of that, we're going to create a new file. I'm going to make that a mod.rs. That's going to allow me to let's close this down. Uh, in the main lib, I like to do this above the uses. We're going to have a mod routes. And I want to put 
this essentially inside of there. So let's go ahead and uh, it's not exactly the same because I still want the app part here. I really want to do the router new and have routes. Now, um, take you, cut you out. I noticed that your return type is router with a body. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll figure out what the return type needs to be. Let's do a pub. Um, I think this needs to be async too, but we'll find out. So pub function, um, this is, you know, run router to like create routes, create routes. I don't necessarily need to pass anything right now. I need to return something from it, but I don't know what. When I don't know what it is, I usually just use these parentheses for the return block, and then I'll get an error telling me exactly what it got, and then I can just change it to that. And I'm gonna create this router new. I'm gonna emit the semicolon so that it returns this. Let's pull in router, and we'll pull in this get. All right, mismatch types, it expected the parentheses, and it got, uh, it got a router, found struct router with an unknown. So let's change that here. So type router. Okay, placeholder is not allowed. Now it had a body. So let's try that. Ra body there. Hey, now it's just complaining that it's never used. Let's head back into the main library and we'll now call this. So that was create routes. Creates this router. Uh, this is complaining that we're not using it. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of you and everything should still be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and continue running this. Okay, we're still good. Now I don't have to check because that cargo watch should still be running behind the scenes. Uh, but now I'm in here. Next up, I want to move my uh, handlers to their own file inside of routes. So I, this is where I really like to uh, combine them into like whatever makes sense. So I'm gonna do new files in here for this. This is gonna be the hello world, for example, hello world.rs. In mod, I'm going to mod hello world. Uh, and now we can create the function that is equivalent to this. So we're gonna have, this needs to be pub async function. Uh, this doesn't take anything in. Uh, we do need the, the name for it. So, hello world. Um, you're gonna return that string, and we're just gonna say, hello world from a, like, from a custom route, like from, um, from my own file. And let's to own that. And head back into mod, and I want to use, Hello world, hello world, and then we're gonna replace this handler from the get with a call to hello world without the parentheses. All right, everything should still be good, and if I run this, we get hello world from my own file. Okay, excellent. Um, now, what happens if we want different methods here? Well, it should be as simple as changing the type here. Uh, so if we take a look at uh, axm, you know, use axm routing, and then we see get here. When we take a look at here, we have uh, delete for a delete method. Uh, we have patch, post, put, all of these that match what we see here in ThunderClient. So if I wanted to turn this into a post method, which right now we get a 405 method not allowed because we haven't uh, set that up, I'm gonna change you to a, I'm gonna add in post here, change you to a post. And if I 
now hit this, I get exactly the same response. So the handler doesn't need to know nor care about what type of uh, HTTP method is being run on. Uh, that all comes down to the router here. Okay, so what about patch? So if I want patch, I'm gonna let Rust Analyzer bring that in for me. Exactly the same thing. I can now get it a patch request to get the response. Um, okay, so does the order really matter here? Yes, it, it does. If I have exactly the same, if I have like different routes um, and they, they sort of like share a path and maybe we use some like path variables, which we'll get into later, um, they do kind of matter until we get to that point. I don't think it's, I don't think it's necessary to worry about it. Just create the routes uh, as you want uh, here and define them all in this file. Anyways, uh, that's what I have for this, uh, this lesson. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of these warnings. Gonna leave it on the patch. Uh, no more warnings, no errors. I'm gonna go ahead and get commit this and send this on up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.